Hello, my name is Dr. Bryce D. Fitz. I have a PhD in dope shit, and today we are going to be reviewing the full-length LP Ultra 85 by billionaire philanthropist playboy Sir Robert Bryson Hall II. I have prepared this presentation for you guys to go over my thoughts and to critically analyze the album in a fashionable way. So without further ado, I'm going to start. I was at the listening party for Ultra 85. As you can see, that is me right there, and on the right, that is billionaire philanthropist playboy, Sir Robert Bryson Hall II. This album takes place within the story of the sophomore LP by Sir Robert Bryson Hall II, billionaire fan, philanthropist play, playboy. The incredible true story. And it takes place in space. And we deal with these guys, Thomas and Kai. And if you don't know, Thomas and Kai are black and white. And if you didn't know, Logic is black and white. He talks about being black and white on the album. Very brave of him. Never done before. We deal with this robot. It's on the cover of the album. The robot is in the album. It yes. is. It's right there on the cover. That's how you know I'm not lying. You guys know this robot, right? This, this robot kind of familiar, Thalia? She's kind in the album. A little. We know that the album is a prequel to the incredible true story via public information at the GalaxyCon Q&A. Quentin Tarantino. His movies do not take place chronologically. And if you don't know, you might miss it, but... Logic likes him. He likes Tarantino. We connect in the dots here. And also, Logic. Oh. That's why I told you to get rid of that slide, man. You're fucking fired. I mean, I don't give a shit if Tarantino likes feet. That was for me, and no one was supposed to see that. Okay? You're fucking, fuck you. Fuck you. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um, Logic. Rapper. He be kind of sleepy sometimes. As most people and hardworking people do, they, they get sleepy sometimes. Me, 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 me. You know what I'm saying? So, that is all I have prepared for you guys today. All in all, in retrospect, I have come to the conclusion with the context given in this presentation. The Ultra 85 is indeed mid as fuck. Alright, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> We're not doing this anymore. We are not doing this anymore. We're all right. All right, so I just wanted to get that little intro out the way. I thought it'd be kind of funny way to give context of the album, but we're gonna, we're gonna actually get into it. So this is a spoiler free review out of respect for the boy, Logic himself. Of course, we listened to it. I heard it, but given some of the information, I've kind of just gone over. We're gonna get into the album itself. So the album, Ultra 85, I heard it, as you know, and it is a prequel to Incredible True Story, at least what we've heard. Now, Logic went on record saying, you heard the album, but there's some more. So, the album I heard was full, complete, it was long, I didn't see any pockets in there, any things that were skipped over, it was a full product, you know what I'm saying? So when Logic says this, it makes me think, it, it does indeed make me think. Now. I can talk about some of the features on there. There were a few. Uh, these were confirmed publicly beforehand. Uh, Christopher Thornton, of course, on there too. But, you know, we got T-Man on there. Phil Ade, Drea. They're all on the album. Okay. Now, since this album is a prequel, we didn't really, you know, hear about a lot of the stuff that we thought we were. Now, looking at a lot of the Easter eggs, the Ultra 85 patches and stuff, there's a lot of stuff that has been hinted that's happening after the Incredible True Story, and the actual album being a prequel didn't even go over the group of Ultra 85, and if you 
need some more lore. I have a whole video on it. You can check that shit out. But it gets me thinking. And another thing that gets me thinking as far as the story, it's like we could cover the story in the novel. Logic confirmed at the Q&A that there will be a novel coming this year. And I just want to say shout out Logic for the weekend. I mean, it was great. Obviously, we were having a great time. It, it was great. I mean, got to talk to him a good few months of times. So that was dope. But during this weekend, he publicly revealed that he himself is the Dudley Twitter account. Now, this is an account I've not been talking about because I knew it was him, bro. <laughs> I, was, I was told it was him, not by him, um, but by someone that it was him in the camp. And I was told, I was sworn to secrecy. And I swore myself to secrecy. I told him later that I knew it was him. But anyways, this is him. Now, this account has been previewing snippets for Ultra 85 and such as some of those I heard on the album. Now, a good fair few of them, I didn't hear. Now, the night Logic revealed this was him, he even posted a snippet right after everyone knew that this was Logic, and this was not on the album. This snippet was not on what I heard. He was also seen talking about this song called Say Less, which I believe he previewed a snippet for. That wasn't on the album. Upgrade 2 previewed as well. That wasn't on the album. So... What I'm thinking, and I don't know, Logic, does, he really doesn't tell me. Like, he really, I promise, he does not tell me what's going on. He doesn't want to ruin it for me. But what I think is going on here, I think we are finally getting the side A, side B Logic album ever. Now, this is the most Logic album I've ever heard in my life. The most, I don't want to say fan service, but if you are a fan, you will catch things on every track, and it will make you happy. I, I, I promise you. I promise you, there were some tracks I enjoyed more than others, of course, and it's hard to remember everything, but this is a spoiler-free review, so I'm not even going into all that in such detail, but it's like, you know, Confessions of a Dangerous Mind, that side A, side B theory went wild within. I mean, everyone was convinced there was a side B, the under pressure side coming out. Obviously, it never came out, and of course, when College Park was coming out, Logic played with the side A, side B concept of having rapping and singing on one side. This is the most logic shit ever. And if he's gonna close the story out full force, you need to actually close the story out with an ending and it should take place after the album. Therefore, I think that logic is taking this and he's doing a side A, side B prequel to the Incredible True Story, which is what I and everyone else heard. And I think there's a separate album, the sequel. That's the side B with a sequel to Incredible True Story. So you get side A, Ultra 85, Incredible True Story, and then side B. That's the chronology of it. I don't know. I, I really think this is right, though. I mean, this makes the most sense. If there's going to be more that we haven't heard and Logic is actively previewing music we haven't heard on here on purpose after he told us that it's him, bro, there's more music. It's not a different album. It's not just going to be a deluxe. It is a side, a side it is a two-sided LP. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. I could be wrong, but I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all right now. But all in all, I, I need to get that out of the way because I we didn't hear the full album. But what I did hear, which was that first part allegedly, well, that's my theory, was great. I mean, going over the snippets and stuff, if you guys want to check them out, I'm sure you guys have heard them and such, but it's like... Everything that was on the Babel website was on the album, and I heard it all, and it all made sense, and it was fire. There's more coming to that website for sure, which I believe is going to entail the sequel that I'm talking about, you know, because everything on there was about the prequel album. I think we're going to get a little another one that's going to be about the side B. I'm sure of it, man. I'm sure of it. But when, when Logic came to me, you know, a few months ago, before I knew that this album was going to be called Ultra 5 he said, Bryce, my next album is top three. I promise you. Now, listening back to the album, you know, of course, I didn't hear whatever I didn't hear. But what I did hear, I'm not mad at that. I don't know if it's top three. Personally, for me, that Under Pressure, Incredible True Story, No Pressure is strong as shit. And I told him that to his face. This was before I knew it was Ultra, of course. But Ultra 85... Where does it stand in his discography? Undeniably top five. I mean, uh, undeniably. The, I got the same feelings listening to this that I did with No Pressure. Because, you know, how Logic could be with this project. Not saying he doesn't try. Final Days was made in a very short amount of time. This is one of my favorite albums from him. It's my fourth favorite album from him. 
I think that that fits in that fourth or fifth spot from what I've heard personally, because it was like, we know Logic can put his all into an album. And I got the same feelings from No Pressure. I did Ultra 85 of being like, oh, boy actually took his time. Not dissing the other shit. Like I said, Bobby Tarantino, some of my favorite shit too. It's like, bro actually sat down and was like, all right, Ultra 85, I'm gonna lock the fuck in. I was not disappointed. The only thing I was disappointed about, quite honestly, was the fact that it was a prequel and we didn't really get the rest of the story. We got some story tidbits, of course, there's lore in there that ties into everything, but we didn't get that sequel. But now, knowing what I think I know now, I'm not disappointed by that because I think we're getting more. And if not, it's really okay because the album was still great. And at the end of the day, apart from the lore and stuff, which is what the hard hardcore fans like myself really want to dig deep into, the music itself... Let me tell you, Logic has something to say on every track, something new on a lot of these tracks, and if it's not something new, he's doing it in a more creative, he's doing it in more explicit, and he's doing it in more of a fuck you kind of way than I've ever heard him before. Now, like I said, I don't remember the whole track list. I, I do remember some things. There is a nice mix of rapping, singing, trap shit on here as well. We got a few of them. There is a mix of everything. It is the most Logic logic shit logic ever that's why i think there's a side a side b ultra 85 is coming maybe soon he told me he was trolling the whole rollout whatever as you can see with this fucking fake account he's just trolling playing other snippets boy knows what he's doing i'm telling you but the album's gonna drop soon there's some other shit coming the novel's dropping this year there is some shit and i am excited I'm excited. I'm excited to hear it. I'm excited to see how it unfolds. I'm excited for the world to hear it and see what y'all have to think. But that is my unbiased, spoiler-free review of Ultra 85 by Logic. Make sure you guys stay tapped in with the channel. Because, of course, as shit develops, I'm going to be covering every single little thing. And if you guys enjoyed watching, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell. So you don't miss out on videos, updates, anything like that. Go in the description, follow my TikTok, my Spotify, my Twitter, my Instagram. Get that weekly update and new music for our plays. Enjoy my Discord down there too. And yeah, it's from Bryce. Peace.